Now let us talk about ionic radius. Suppose X is an atom and now it can form ions in two ways. Either it can gain electron or lose electron. Okay. And it can gain many electrons and it can lose many electrons. Yes or no? Now, suppose it becomes X minus, that is an ion. And it becomes X plus, that is cation. So during the X my formation of X minus, it must have gained the electrons. And as the electrons are, number of electrons are increasing, the electron-electron repulsion will increase. And nucleus will become weaker. And as the electron-electron repulsion will increase, size will increase. Okay? So therefore, what happens is that the size of X minus will be greater than X. Is this clear? Suppose this element X minus gains some more electrons. One more electron is added to it. More electron electron repulsion will be there. So definitely size will increase further. Okay. So you can see that as the electrons, number of electrons which are being added to the given atom increases, their size increases. Remember one thing, atom should be same. You can't compare S2 minus with F minus. So you see this is the element should be same okay now suppose the same was some uh, other element is there and it forms cation by loss of electrons so once the electrons are lost the electron electron repulsion will decrease and nucleus will become more stronger so more attraction will be there and this will lead to decrease in size so x plus will be smaller than x okay if it gains if if it loses more electrons then you know furthermore size will decrease is this clear so if we compare x3 minus with x3 plus you can clearly see that x3 minus will be greater okay so therefore one thing you have to keep in mind that among isoelectronic species. Now in the examination, they are going to ask about the size of isoelectronic species. That among the isoelectronic species, isoelectronic ions, what is going to happen? The size of the size of cations is lesser as compared to anions. And greater the negative charge, higher will be the size, and greater the positive charge, smaller will be the size. Suppose we take an example. We have to arrange. Mg2 plus F minus O2 minus Al3 plus Na plus N3 minus in the increasing order, decreasing order of their size. Then what you can see here that they all have 10 electrons. Yes or no? So they all have 10 electrons. So they are isoelectronic species. As they are isoelectronic species, we have discussed that greater the negative charge, higher will be the radius. Okay, so definitely N3 minus will have the maximum size, followed by O2 minus, then followed by F minus, then followed by Na plus, Mg2 plus, and Al3 plus. So this is the increasing order. Is this clear? In the same way, they can ask you about S2 minus, Cl minus, Ca2 plus, K plus. They all are also isoelectronics. And again, you have to follow the same rule in the NEET examination.